Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram right now and follow us at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came in to see. Now, <clears throat> Little Dirk banned from coming back to his hood, right? Um, I seen this when it first hit the surface about a day or two ago about Little Dirk being banned from his hood or whatever by a guy by the name of Lamron Marco, right? I wasn't going to speak on it because I honestly didn't take it serious, nor thought anybody else would, but I see that it really became a topic of discussion, surprisingly, and I've been asked to get my take on it, especially because a lot of y'all swear I hate Lil Dirk, and that's really not the case. I just call out the BS when I see it, but um, yeah, let's get into it. Now, the dude Lamron Marco seemed like a younger fellow who may not have close ties to Lil Dirk, but I'm assuming with the name Lamron Marco, he's not too far from the hood that all these guys come from. Now he calls himself banning Dirk from the hood, and to be honest with y'all, like I said, I wasn't going to speak on it because I thought that it was just a clout move, like he just wanted his 15 minutes of fame and that was it. Because when I searched his page, right, I went on his page to see who this guy is. And I watched a lot of his. I realized that he don't got enough pull to ban someone like Little Dirk <laughs> from his hood or anywhere. <laughs> so once again, I don't even know how he got the publicity that he ended up getting. But a lot of people were speaking on it. So we're going to talk about it, right? Now, anyway, he posted on his Instagram story. He said, quote, Dirk can't come back on his block until he apologized for being a B word. And he added Little Dirk. Right now, shortly after that, people started reporting. Uh, the blogs picked it up. He took to his Instagram again to actually correct himself, and he said, "Quote: Ain't no beef with Big Bro. Just want him to do and show that ish he put in his raps about his blocks. Then he put a hundred emojis, black heart emoji, and he still added Lil Dirk again as well. Now, <clears throat> first and foremost, right? Let's be real. There's not too many guys." Period that could ban Lil Dirk from his hometown, Chicago, or his hood, nonetheless, right? Um, you got guys like Bo Dill, Jojo Capone, um, guys of that kind of status that may be able to pull some strings, but all of them guys mess with Lil Dirk in the first place. Alright, and all of the guys who are really like the muscle from old block and all that, they seem to mess with Dirk as well. So someone like Lamron Marco, no disrespect. They can't just sit there and ban a little Dirk from his own hood. I'm sorry. All right. On the other hand, just because Dirk ain't doing for him, don't mean that he isn't necessarily doing what he's saying his raps for his block. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean that he's not doing what he say uh, in his raps about whatever he's giving back to his community or whatever the case may be. Just because he's not doing for one specific person. Now, is he actually doing what he's saying his raps for his hood? We don't know, to be perfectly honest, because we ain't there. However, you can't call someone out like that and think that you're going to get a good response in return. All right. He called that man a B word and then said he's going to have to apologize. <laughs> so any normal person, you know, I know me personally, I'll be like, who am I apologizing to? That's for one. And then two, he called me a B word. So how else is Lil Dirk supposed to respond to that? All right. How is the guys around him supposed to respond to that? Ain't no simple. Yo, my bad. Ain't no simple that it's not going to fix that because now egos come into play. Like, yo, this dude just called me a B word. Who is he? Who he think he is? So even if he act like he does accept his apology, if I was laying wrong, Marco, I would be very, very careful. There's some things a person could say and do that there's no coming back from. Sometimes it's a line you cross that you're just not supposed to cross. And that's just me personally. If he wanted to get through to Lil Dirk, that just wasn't the way to do it. It wasn't smart. All right. Um, 
I think he wanted more clout than anything, or else he wouldn't have came at Dirk like that. Um, if he was really concerned about Dirk doing anything for the hood. Not to mention, he said Dirk can't come back right after Dirk was just there. Um, Dirk had security. Some people say police and all that with him. It is what it is. He still went back to his neighborhood or whatever the case. So, um, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about this. Do y'all think Lamron and Marco could ban Lil Dirk from his hood? And yeah, let me know how y'all feel about it, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. I'm out.